This is the perfect golden doodle. So what is the perfect golden doodle? Is it this type of golden doodle or is it this type of golden doodle or is it that type of golden doodle? There's so many ways to describe what the perfect golden doodle is, but it honestly just comes down to what do you like? In my opinion, from being around tons of golden doodles, it comes down to three huge things. We wanna focus on structure, size, and temperament. As you can see, this puppy is so calm, just chilling. I mean, I can literally hold her like this. I can hold her upside. I can just do whatever I want. And that's what we wanna see in a golden doodle puppy. I would say that this pup has the potential potential to become a perfect golden doodle, has everything you would want. When it comes to structure, as you can see, she has a really blocky structure, well proportionate face, Not her snout is not too long, it's not too short, her eyes are not too far apart or too close. So that's what we really want, and her head is really well built. As we put her on the table, you can see that she has a really proportionate legs and bone structure, and she's not too skinny, but she's also not too thick or fat. She's got a lot of good muscle tone to her, and her hair is really well put together. In my opinion, I love the wavy coat. I don't want a dog that has a super curly, almost like a poodle type of coat. And so that's what I breed for. I breed for the wavy, medium-sized golden doodles. We want almost all the puppies in a litter to look like this. But in a litter, you have such a wide variety from different types of dogs because they are just such a new type of cross and breed. As a golden doodle breeder, we really need to look back at what other dog breeders have done in the past in different breeds to then replicate that in the golden doodle to create the best possible golden golden doodle that you can find. When I'm looking at what is the perfect golden doodle, this is what I love to see. A really well blocky structure, good head proportionate, and also just super calm. Because if you have a dog that looks amazing, but it's just absolutely crazy, then honestly the looks just go out the window because it's just annoying and just super spastic. So we don't want that. But we do love the super calm and well put together type of dog. All right, so when it comes to breeding the best possible golden doodle, we're gonna look at the size. I breed medium golden doodles, so that I want them to be about 35 to 45 pounds. Right now, she's about 12 pounds and she's um, 10 weeks old, which is perfect. That's what we love to see. By the time she's about a year and a half, two years of age, she'll be just around 35, maybe 45 pounds. But you want a dog that's big enough to run, go out on walks, go on runs, go to the coffee shop, do whatever, and get in the car comfortably, but you also don't want a dog that's going to take up the entire back seat or be just so small that you almost lose the dog just going around. We want a dog that's perfect, just the perfect size that can get on the couch and cuddle with you, but is not going to take up the whole couch. And I've been around many, many golden doodles and also the very big standard golden doodles. And that's why I've settled on the medium type of golden doodles. that are just in the very middle and the perfect size that I've found. That being said, when you're going to buy a puppy, you might see that the mom is about 50, 55 pounds. And then the dad is about 22, 25 pounds. What I found from the breedings like that is that the puppies do come out most of the time in the middle. Um, with this puppy, her dad is 20 pounds and her mom is 50 pounds. They've had four litters together and all of their puppies come out in just that middle range. So that's how I know for sure. Structure is huge when it comes to breeding dogs. You don't want a dog that's super wiry or a dog that's almost too blocky to where they can't move properly. So you want that very good in-between size. And this is what this puppy really shows perfectly. Perfectly. She's got everything that I want in a dog. I want a dog that's very blocky, really well put together, but then I also don't want a dog that's too skinny or really stringy, maybe really long legs or really short legs and a really long body. She has everything in a very good, well put together type of structure. So when it comes to what is the perfect golden doodle, I would consider this puppy right here the perfect golden doodle. Everything that you would want in a golden doodle. I get a lot of Instagram DMs asking questions, and this is probably one of the biggest questions I get all the time is, what is the perfect golden doodle? And in my opinion, this is the perfect golden doodle. If you have any more questions ever, you can always DM me on Instagram or even shoot a comment below, and I would love to answer those. We talked about the perfect golden doodle, and to make sure we keep these dogs looking amazing, check out this video on how to groom your golden doodle at home to help you keep these puppies looking amazing.